Hi, I'm Al, and in this edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and test your starter solenoid. So today I'm going to show you how to diagnose if you have a faulty starter solenoid by just using a multimeter and a short piece of wire. Now what I have here today is a, what is very common, it's a Ford forward post starter solenoid. Uh, yours may look a little different. It may have the posts up on top and it all just depends on when your starter solenoid was manufactured. On this side I have the positive in, over here positive out. The S switch or the S post is a switched post. That's where your key comes into. And over here on this starter solenoid I have an I post which goes out towards your ignition. We're only going to be worried about the in, the out, and the switched post today. Now one thing you want to be aware of with this type of solenoid that this mounting point right here where it mounts on to the fender or the firewall is actually the ground. So whenever you go and you test things and when I tell you to touch your probes to the ground, you're actually going to touch it to this bracket or another ground point on your vehicle. So the first test that we're going to conduct today is we're going to check the ohms of resistance in between the switch and the ground. And go ahead and move my multimeter to ohms. Obviously black to my ground, red up to my positive, and I want to see approximately 3.5 ohms of resistance. So if, I, if everything there checks out, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check the power going through this solenoid. Now to hook that up and for this demonstration, I've actually got a battery and some cables and we'll set that up. So now that I know that I have power coming into my solenoid, we want to check to make sure we have power going out. Now the way to do that is, again, we're going to use our multimeter. I'm going to take the multimeter lead, put it on the outside of my positive. I'm going to take my negative multimeter lead, hook it up to my negative again, and I'm going to go ahead and jump the solenoid. The way that I'm going to do that is take my short piece of wire and I'm going to hook it up to my positive and I'm simply going to touch the S terminal and I hear a click so I know my solenoid is actually working. And I look at my multimeter and I see that I have almost 11 and a half volts coming out of my solenoid. So I know that my solenoid is operating properly. Now if there's still some electrical gremlins in your system, you want to make sure that you check things like the ignition switch and any other connections that you may have in between your ignition system. A very common issue is something not being properly grounded. So you do want to make sure things like your starter, your engine, your ignition system is all grounded properly. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Be sure to watch some of our other videos and hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest QuickFlix videos. Thanks for watching.